Hey now, what's up guys? It's me over Prime Training. This video is gonna be a lot of lifting, a little food point. So if you guys came here for the food point, skip to like halfway through the video, whatever. But if you guys came for lifting, good for you. I love you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you in this video about my new new program I'm currently doing, switching things up, increasing the volume, cause. Uh, whether you're looking to build muscle, getting stronger, the biggest determinant is volume. Uh, I think Lane Noren says that a lot. Ben Escro, a lot of people actually. Paul, uh, what's his name? Cal Wesley Smith says. Basically, the Russians been saying it for decades. But yeah, volume is the biggest determinant in gaining strength or size, with matching intensity, of course. So what my so what I'm currently doing is a DUP slash with a little bit of the conjugate program thrown in. I'm squatting three to four times a week. Uh, the first session is a six by three, as you're seeing here, and it's followed by five by five, and then a four by seven. The six by three is at 85% of my one rep max, 80% for the five by five, and 75% for the seven by three. I increase that by 10 pounds if I'm feeling good, five pounds if it was feeling okay, but overall, this session felt good, so I increased the weight by 10 pounds the next session. I'm also doing the same thing for bench, so a 6x3, 5x5, 4x7, and here's the 4x7, doing pause reps of 225. Some of them might look faster than the others, I don't know why, just got antsy, I guess, but pretty good bench session, going to increase it by 10 pounds. So. It's a three, I'm benching and squatting three times a week with the optional fourth day if I'm feeling good, which is just like a speed day where I might do some band work. Just use the resistance bands to just focus on form and speed. Here's my final set of bench, by the way. Surprise cameo by Zal. No, he hasn't made a video for a while. He's still recovering from his back injury, so he hasn't been, he hasn't really been able to do any legs. But yeah, working on my pauses. Here's the last one. Pausing it for pretty long. Okay, for, so enough of that for now. Here's a little food point break. <laughs> got a double cheeseburger from Emma Keys with some sweet potato fries. Because got to get those complex carbohydrates in, you know? Can't be eating those regular white potato fries. Got to eat them sweet potato fries. Hashtag eat clean. Hashtag micros. That's like a maple dip. So more micros. But yeah, here's my Monday session, 6x3 of squat, and as for deadlift, I'm doing a, I'm only deadlifting three times a week because it is harder to recover uh, CNS-wise from deadlifts. So one session is going to be a 3x3 three three at 90%, the second session is going to be a 3x5 at 80 and a speed day. Here's the 6x3 of 355, felt pretty good. So yeah guys, it is a lot of volume, a lot of intensity. Probably do three week cycles and deload. Maybe test some numbers in between. But I usually bench, squat, and deadlift. I mean, I usually, I'm probably gonna bench and squat on the same day Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and deadlift Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. That might not work out all the time because I do have a busy schedule with college and all. So some days I might squat back-to-back -back days like this week I'm squatting Monday and Tuesday but it's okay I, I ran a couple small off cycles in the past so I'm used to the I'm used to the high volume in terms of soreness I'm not really not really getting sore this I actually don't get sore at all but that's one of my best lifting attributes I recover surprisingly fast as you see in the clip I'm putting chalk on my lower back I mean on my upper doubts because doing low bar, the bar does tend to slide so if you guys have that problem apply chalk on your delts and it'll stay. So here were the sets of deadlifts. I just did four or five for three sets of five. Just working on form. I've been in a deadlift slump lately so just trying to gain some momentum. Not go too heavy quite yet. But hope you guys enjoy this video. Just a quick low update not really quick this video was one of my longer ones but it's a quick update on what program i'm running 
how I'm increasing the volume to just work on learning the motor pattern, working on skill as I do believe lifting is a skill. Overall, this is going to end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. <clears throat> Walk right in front of me, why don't you? But, as always, lift heavy, track your macros, and don't smoke crack.